Okay, in this video we want to look at something called the quaternion group, which is a nice non-abelian group of order 8. In other words, it's a non-commutative group of order 8. So it's given by the elements plus minus 1, plus minus i, plus minus j, and plus minus k. So those are 8 total elements, plus i and minus i are different. And here we have this rule that minus 1 squared is equal to 1. So just like in uh, integers, and then 1 is the identity, and then we have i squared is the same thing as j squared is the same thing as k squared, which is the same thing as negative 1. And then finally, these are our rules for multiplying the other elements. So i times j is equal to k. J times, in other words, if you reverse the order, you get a minus sign. And then j times k is i, k times j is minus i, k times i is j, and uh, i times k is minus j. But there's actually a much easier way to remember that, and that's with the following picture. So this picture is this loop from i to j to k, and if you follow the arrows, so in other words, if you go clockwise, you always have a positive sign. So i times j is k. K times J is I, uh, sorry, J times K is I, K times I is J. But if you go against the arrows, you pick up a minus sign. So K, so J times I is minus K, K times J is minus I, and so on and so forth. So what I want to look at here is all of the subgroups of this quaternion group Q8, and we'll actually do that by looking at the cyclic subgroups. So first of all, let's look at the cyclic subgroup generated by minus 1. So just as a reminder before we get into it, the cyclic subgroup generated by n is all integer powers of n. Sorry, the cyclic subgroup generated by a is all integer powers of a. So that means here we need minus 1 to the 0th power, which is going to be 1, minus 1 to the 1st power, which is negative 1, and then minus 1 squared, which puts us back at positive 1. So that means we here we have just a group of order 2. Good. Now let's look at uh, the subgroup generated by i. So we'll have minus 1 to the sorry, i to the zeroth power, which is 1, i to the first power, which is i, i squared, which is negative 1, and then i cubed, which is negative i. Let's do that up here real quick. So we have i cubed, so that's going to be i squared times i, but that's negative i. Okay, good. But now if we do i to the fourth, which would be the next thing, we get back to the identity. And now let's check that. So notice i to the fourth is the same thing as i squared times i squared, which is negative 1 squared, which is 1. Great. So there we have the cyclic subgroup generated by i are these four elements. And now you can similarly have the cyclic subgroup generated by j, which is going to be given by 1j minus j, uh, sorry, 1j minus 1, and then minus j. And then also the cyclic subgroup generated by k is equal to uh, 1k minus 1 minus k. Okay, so before we make a picture of all of the subgroups of the quaternion group, I want to look at the cyclic subgroup generated by minus i just to make sure that we haven't uh, missed anything. So notice this is going to be equal to 1 minus i, so this is minus i to the zeroth power, minus i to the first power. Now we need minus i squared for the next term. Notice that's minus i times minus i, but that's going to be negative 1 squared times i i squared, but that's, uh, but that's equal to negative 1, because negative 1 squared is 1, so here we get negative 1 here. And now you can easily check that if you take minus i to the third power, you get i. So in other words, this cyclic subgroup is the same thing as this cyclic subgroup. So there's no point in calculating cyclic subgroups minus i minus j minus k. Okay, and so that means we have exhausted all cyclic subgroups except for maybe the one generated by the identity, but that is super boring. Okay, so I'm going to clean up the board and then we're going to make a picture of all of the cyclic subgroups of the quaternion group. 
Okay, so on the last board, we argued that we had all of the subgroups of the quaternion group. Now I want to make a subgroup lattice of this group. So let's see, Q8. So this is going to be the whole group up here. So this has eight elements. So right below that will be all of the cyclic subgroups with four elements. So that's the cyclic subgroup generated by I, J, and K. Recall those each had four elements. But the only thing that they shared in common were one and negative one, but recall that that was exactly the cyclic subgroup generated by negative one. And then below that is just the trivial subgroup itself, which is the subgroup that only contains the identity. So this is our subgroup lattice for Q8, a picture of Q8, if you will. All right, this is a good place to stop.